Oh, she looks so beautiful. Would this help? Oh, good thing I look like a monster. Okay, cancel that. It's six o'clock right now and I'm outside Orange Theory. I'm going to a workout. I only did one workout this week and I feel guilty if I don't do two workouts because that's what I pay for it. I have like an eight class a month allotment so if I don't use those up, I feel bad because it's expensive and I don't wanna waste money. And I'm used to it because I've been doing it all year long but doing this six o'clock on a Saturday, it's not a regular thing. All right, I'm gonna go do this even though I do not want to. All right, you can actually see me now. Good morning, I'm up, I did it. And I'm actually not looking so bad. The viewfinder might be lying to me. Usually I'm like a red tomato face, completely drenched in sweat, but you kind of never know what you're gonna get with these workouts. And today actually wasn't that bad. Not complaining. Right, and then cut to 2014. Okay. Kind of looks like a main channel video. Except you can see there's a suitcase right there. And actually you can probably see more of this room than you ever can in my main channel videos. It's a big mess. <laughs> probably no secret to you. Uh, right now I'm just getting myself together. Uh, I almost have my makeup done. I did my hair. I got a shower. Somehow I'm already sore from the workout this morning. I know I said it wasn't that bad, but like... I guess it was. <laughs> Maybe I'm just tired, I don't know. Grant is on his way home. He had to go into work for a little bit this morning because he's on call this weekend. I also have to do some work today. I'm gonna be working on a new DIY video for my main channel. I started it yesterday. Of course I didn't finish it yesterday. Again, it is like a big project and it takes me forever. What doesn't take me forever? <laughs> I guess I always just think I can do more than I can actually do in the time I have but I'm happy to do it. I love DIY videos. I love what I'm making. Hopefully it all turns out. I never really know what's gonna happen along the way. Hopefully you watch it when it goes up on my channel next week, next Thursday. Um, what are we doing now? What's next? I'm not even thinking. Last night we didn't really do anything crazy. I needed to go to Hobby Lobby. There was a white felt emergency. I needed some white felt. So I ran over there and they had some really cute stuff. Some like unbelievably cute stuff. Do you see? Oh my gosh, I love it! Okay, look at these houses. It's like a giant mid-century putz house. I feel like they're mind readers. I'm kind of freaked out. Also, look at this. This whole section, it just has my name all over it. I'm kind of mad, honestly. And they're closing in five minutes. This kind of pressure, it's just, it's not for me. I mean, are you kidding me? It was, honestly, it was like one little like table of cute stuff that fits my Christmas dreams. It's kind of like a retro, like the cute deer thing. This stuff, basically just this stuff over here. Cute little Evelyn and we got a little tree here. I think I got that green tree at Lowe's last year and the lighting element that goes in the bottom already broken, doesn't light up anymore. So I found a white one. All right, this is, this is happening. Get in there. Come on. Not gonna lie, I'm not very sure about it. Once I brought it home and plugged it in, I had second thoughts. I'm not so sure about it. I kind of wish I got the green one, but then I already have a green one, even though it's broken. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> very complicated Christmas emotions going on right now. Bear with me. It's a trying time. I wanna watch Parent Trap, y'all. Today's canceled, I'm watching Parent Trap. Uh-oh, someone is home, and I believe he is bearing gifts. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Conveniently, our new Christmas lights that I really want to go up. Mm. Mm, mm. On a Saturday. So convenient because the bottom part of our tree gave out on us this week, and it's looking real sad. What did we get? Whoa, I got a whole box. Oh yeah, baby. We just finished eating our KFC. I kind of wanted Popeyes. I kind of wanted that Popeyes chicken sandwich again. Sick. I've been dreaming it since the day we tried it. Like I, when I was editing that vlog, I was dying to eat it. You don't even understand. But Grant just opened those lights that I was mentioning that were on the table. They're actually from this wholesaler place in Houston. And I heard about them from Dana's Instagram story, 
Her Christmas decorations are always so beautiful. And these are the lights that she has on her tree. And these twinkle and they look really cool. So I had to have them. You can probably find them in stores. I don't know, but there's just no brand name on here. I think Grant might be willing to put them up right now. I gotta get back to the DIY video. I have some painting to do. I'm so excited. And then we've got other stuff, which I will bring you along for, but it's hard to vlog and then make another video at the same time. I've told you about this before. I guess Luna decided to have her lunch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this face. <laughs> you love it. Fun. You love to see it. Love to see it. I was just making Grant watch a Vlogmas video. He was loving it. <laughs> Grant doesn't really watch vloggers except for like Tim Tracker. And they're on a break right now. What are we supposed to do? Cause they had a baby, which is so sweet. And I'm so happy for them. All right, I was busy painting and then Grant said he had to leave for a minute, but there is a big reveal in order. So let's look at the tree because he's been working on this tree, adding lights, adding the new special lights. So we got to see it in action. What? I love it. It looks so much better than it did. Good job. Take a bow. <laughs> All right, we're back on the road and we're headed to Fort Worth. On the way, we're gonna stop at a Macy's that has a mattress that we want to sit on, lay on. If you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen on my stories. We started the search for a new mattress. Grant has done a lot of research. There are many options we're considering. Oh my gosh, it's completely dark. This camera, I know you don't care, I care. I probably care way too much, but whatever. We're on the search for a mattress. I got the princess and the pea with me. He's done a lot of research. We're gonna find the perfect mattress for our new bed that is coming, I think, January, December? Who it's knows? December now. No one knows. Who knows? We got a lot of things coming after last weekend. If you didn't watch the last vlog, whoo, you missed out. It was a good one. about to go into Macy's. It's our first spot. Which mattress are we looking at? The Leaf and Loom. Leaf and Loom. He showed me a whole graph of the <laughs> ratings of all of these little like, what are they, bed in the box? Yeah. Or like memory foam type mattresses. Yeah. Apparently we have to try them all, so. He's a little picky, not gonna lie. Get a load of this guy's new jacket. I got a full fashion show earlier today because he went wild on the J. Crew Black Friday sale. Looking good. And I'm wearing some of my new Black Friday shoes. They're about a half size too big. Feels like five sizes too big. I feel like this is such a dirty thing to do. <laughs> I told Grant we should have brought shower caps. So <laughs> I want to feel the bed, but I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Okay, we didn't really have any luck at that last Macy's. We were kind of looking forward to absolutely falling in love with that one mattress brand, like the organic one, but it really wasn't that special. We're definitely keeping it in mind for the future. Oh, suddenly we're in the darkness. We're continuing our quest. We're at a new location. What are we looking for here? This is the Amerisleep. We're proud Americans. What? That sounds suspicious. <laughs> Hello, it is Sunday. My hair is half done, but Grant's home. He had to go into work this morning. And just because I like a rerun, I think he comes bearing gifts and it's something different. What is it? William's fried chicken. It's something very similar actually. <laughs> but William's chicken, who's ever heard of that? Ooh, I like that logo. Our house is a disaster, thanks to me. Hopefully I will finish at least one project today that would be really great for me uh i think our next order of business is going to be christmas card 
we're kind of behind on that, or I feel like we're behind on that, but I think that we can still make it happen. We have a vision, meaning I have a vision. Hopefully we can make it happen. But first we're gonna eat some Williams chicken. All right. Okay, I like a squished roll on a Sunday. This is very Sunday food to me. Yeah. Beige. This is so, so good. If you live around here, get this. All right, it's time to get Luna in costume. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it with one hand, but maybe we can try. Do, 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 do. Give me that cute little face. Oh, such a compliant girl. Oh, she looks so beautiful. Everyone's ready for the Christmas card. <laughs> Let me just show you my inspiration. It's not gonna turn out like this on any level, but this was the inspiration. No one's gonna get it. That doesn't matter. At least we will know in our hearts we tried. <laughs> Yes, it is back for another year. I will never get rid of this thing. I love it so much. It's so cozy and it's so special. It looks like I made it, but I didn't. I bought it this way. We had a successful family Christmas card shoot, or at least I think it was successful. I quickly scrolled through the photos a little bit. Luna might have been looking at the camera like one time and she definitely did not tolerate that little like reindeer Grinch headpiece for very long at all. She started to get very depressed, so I took it off of her. She was like letting it stay on her head, but gradually losing her life force over it. So I had to take it off. I feel like it's cute, but at the same time, I'm, I kind of wish I hadn't told you my inspiration because it's pretty much exactly like that meme, like, like what you saw online and then what arrived at your door. It's definitely gonna be one of those situations, but whatever, I think it'll be cute and I'm glad that we did it so we can actually get it out before Christmas. Right now we're in the car because we are going to lay on yet another mattress. We're going to try out Casper mattress, which I feel like they did a ton of sponsorships not too terribly long ago. I don't know, Grant wants to lay on them. Princess in the Pay demands. We must lay on more mattresses. We actually found a good option last night at Amerisleep and the guy that was working there was so super nice. Um, but we wanna try this one out, so we're going to do that. What kind of old timey town is this? Cute. I like the decor. Shopping for mattresses has to be the most awkward thing in the entire world. Grant loves it though. Shopping for mattresses is awkward. It's very awkward. Especially. Yeah, I'll give you some time alone with the mattress and then they close. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate it. I appreciate that more than, than them standing over you and talking to you. It's just a weird thing all around, really. Merry Christmas! So we found our favorite Casper mattress if we decide to go with a Casper. But now, Grant said we can go to the flagship Tempur-Pedic store, which we should not go in here. We should avoid this, but we're doing it anyway. That's what Grant really wants. Okay, we came out with two pillows and no mattresses. <laughs> A lot of temptation. <laughs> All right, next stop is Michael's. I need some gold paint and I need it now. Okay. You're going to jail. The FBI is outside. I'll go back. We hot in the car. Yeah. Okay, we're back home. We went to Milwaukee Joe's and I got some of my favorite Dr. Pepper ice cream again. We hadn't been back since the last time we went on the vlog and it was still just as good as I remember, but I kind of think I ruined it with that cone that I chose. I really like sprinkles, but those sprinkles 
were really hard and gross and I didn't like them at all. But luckily they have little pine sized carton that you can take home of the Dr. Pepper ice cream and I got one of those. I'm sorry, I'm really sleepy right now and I just tried out my new pillow that we got from Tempur-Pedic. We did not buy a mattress when we were there, but he quoted us two different setups and oh my gosh, those are so expensive. <laughs> They're really comfortable, but like, I cannot imagine paying that much for a mattress. I don't, I don't think so. Grant used to have one, so he really loves them. But finally, after all of that deliberation, after so much time looking at mattresses for the past week, honestly, I was so sick of it. Like, why are we still doing this? Once we were at Tempur-Pedic, I think the guy really thought we were gonna like buy one, like on the spot because I was just like, we've been doing this for too long <laughs> right away. And I think he thought it was like, the deal is sealed, but we finally made our decision. Drum roll, please. <laughs> no, not really. Cause we didn't even talk to you about these, I don't think. But we finally decided to get one from Marisleep. It's really comfy. It's on the more affordable side, especially compared to Tempur-Pedic. Um, and it's a foam mattress, not that interesting. But the sales guy was super nice. He did his job very, very well. And I feel like that played a hand and us deciding on going for them. Also, I need to show you something because you guys are probably gonna laugh at me. I'm not sure if you will. <laughs> it's really ridiculous what I did. So this is the tree. I need to get like my glue gun out of the way. Oh, did you guys see these new deer that I got? I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted off of my point here. Look at these guys that I got from Target last week. They're so cute. Okay. This is the new light up tree that I got from Hobby Lobby. And unfortunately, once I got it home and plugged it in, I decided I don't really love it. I think it's just the color of the lights. I don't like this mix of colors. I like that it's white. I like this star. I, I like everything about it except for the colors. I don't know why they're just, I don't like the mix, especially for this little, like a very traditional red and green kind of old timey mix. I just don't think this works. So I have to take that one back. And when we were at Michael's, we found this one. It was on sale for, I think $29. And you can actually remove the bulbs. And off to the side, there was like a little replacement pack of bulbs where you can switch out the colors that you don't like. This is the perfect solution. Hopefully this one holds up a lot better than the one I got last year. Yes, I now have two green trees, but one works and one doesn't. So I feel like that's okay. Is it okay? Probably not. But I just love these trees. And unfortunately I have to drive all the way back to Hobby Lobby. It's so far away. I hate that, but hopefully it will all be worth it. <laughs> I'm insane. I'm sorry. Oh, thing over here. Merry Christmas, baby. Wow. Okay, this one's a little different. Let's see, let's see. What you all about? Am I gonna love you? Am I gonna hate you? Am I getting too picky? Probably. Oh, the star is so much smaller. Okay, clearly I've gone way overboard. I think maybe for my tree, I don't want any purple. No, thank you. What colors do I want? That's the question. Maybe just red and green, let's be real. Okay, so you have to put these little rubber things on the outside. I guess that makes it fit a little tighter. Not completely, still a little loose, still so easy to just take out. Wow, that's kind of a bum deal. I thought this one was gonna be like by far the best quality one that I've gotten so far. But now that I really look at it, I think I like how this one is made a lot better than this one. And the light situation here, what? The truth about the truth here is I saw a Linux one at Macy's that was 50% off. I'm still thinking about that one. I mean, what are your thoughts on go big or go home? Let me know. I have killed my fingers trying to get these little rubber things on the tips and I'm getting angry, angrier and angrier as I'm doing this. But it's like actually hurting my fingers at this point. I don't, I'm not really a big baby, but this is, this is painful and it's also obnoxious. And I kind of feel like it's awful. And Grant just walked by and said it was awful. So suspicions confirmed. This thing is garbage. Why did I do this? I thought I was upgrading, but we have to at least commit and put these in and see how they look. The only colors I could truly commit to were 
red, yellow, and green. I like multicolored lights, but I have my limits. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I'm about to flip it on. Let me know what you think. Hmm. This yellow is too bright, I think. And they're just all wobbly. I just, I mean, is this how they did it back in the day? And I'm just not appreciating the true authenticity of the traditional nostalgic Christmas vibes. Like, obviously that's what I like. That's the mood I'm in, but we've moved on as a people. We have better technology. We can make better trees. We don't have to do this. The process cannot be like this. This one is, way better quality like this part comes out but i'm totally fine with that i just don't love the color of the bulbs is this segment going on too long absolutely but let me know which one do you like better should i just do the fancy one because that's what i want to do she wants the fancy one then. oh my gosh i'm looking especially haggard right now i think it's from laying on all those beds doesn't do much for the hair uh i will say i did get one absolute treasure at michael's that makes up for the tree, kind of. Doesn't really. I'm actually still mad about the tree. I got these Santa mugs. I got two of them. I've been eyeing them for so long. I've wanted them forever. And these are absolutely perfect. I think they're so cute. I asked Grant if he would actually use them. He probably won't. But he's like, well, if that's what we're doing. <laughs> so yes, this is what we're doing. But now I think what we're doing is watching the Imagineering story because we're both just like exhausted. You ready to watch Looney Beans? Oh, she's ready. She ready. All right, I got some paint. 